Today, I was sent a secret mystery box from a viewer. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video. And in today's video, I have a massive box here that was sent to me by a viewer. I opened it up real quick, but he has a uh, read first thing. So we're going to keep that in there before we actually get to it. You might be wondering, what's a secret mystery box? I mean, aren't all mystery boxes a secret? Yes, technically they are. But the secret part about this is they're not actually a secret. So one of my viewers actually told me, hey, you need to check out walmart.com because they've been selling these mystery boxes and they're supposed to like have a chance at like all the legacy packs. If you guys remember those, it's like you could have an entire box of just like old school reprints. He found out apparently out of the Walmart one, every time he buys from there, they're all the reprints. So it's like the one in five like seated chase. He's getting it every single time. So I naturally went on Walmart myself and went to buy some. Apparently they were out of stock. So I was like, well, I guess I can't get any. And he said, hey, how about I just send you a couple? So we don't actually know if these are like all mystery like reprint packs or whatever. But according to him, every single time he bought from there, it was. So we're about to find out today if we have the secret hack to getting all legacy packs. Hey, Phil, excited to see what you pull out of these boxes. I opened five and they all had at least five legacy packs. So he's five for five. I'm like, it's like 20% chance usually but apparently not also with an interesting history and after a long journey this item is being passed on to you so that you can give it away to the community and has an interesting story which you are free to share challenge to the comments section spot the error with this item and take your guests down in the comments feel free to follow him on whatnot the uber training and on instagram so go check him out let's see what he sent us for the giveaway we have a cgc slab okay that means i mean he said error didn't he so cgc is known for their errors we have done a cgc return recently go check it out if you guys missed that one it's pretty awesome all right we have a CGC graded card. Let's see what it is. All right, it's the Forbidden Chalice signed by Ruxin34. So yes, this is a card I've personally experienced. This, I think this was actually in the vlog where I signed this card. So if you guys remember the Charlotte vlog, I met up with Uber Trading and he had this card. He asked me to sign it. I was like, are you sure you want to do that? And he's like, oh yeah, let's go for it. So I think it was like a PSA 4 or something. It actually got worse because of this. Apparently no qualifier for a Ruxin34 signature. Not that famous, I guess. So <laughs> we, don't, we don't get to be on the label. That would actually be pretty sick. But uh, signed by me, this is on the card, not on the slap. So He's, I signed this while it was raw and then he got it graded. We're regraded because it was a PSA. So this is really cool. You guys can win this now. You guys can have the Ruxin 34 signature. Ultimate rare, by the way, Forbidden Chow. So that is super cool. I'm really excited for that to be the giveaway. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about this secret mystery box. Do you think that they only sent out like a certain amount so that it would be the one in five seated rate and they just kept all of those like in a different area or something? And now out of that specific warehouse they're using, they're just sending out the good ones. I don't know. I'm not sure why that happened. All right, so here are the mystery boxes in question. They can potentially have six legacy packs. I don't even think these were the ones I was thinking of. I wonder why these have so many legacy packs. There was one where it was like, it said like you had a chance to get all five. I don't even think this is it. So this is interesting that it's just all legacy packs. Let's just see if these are the same. I'm excited about this. He also sent us some chaos boxes. I'm gonna save them for a different video because you know, this is a ton of content with these three. Let's get into it. I'm excited about this. Notice how excited I am because I said it two times. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's open this thing up. We have opened a bunch of these, if you guys remember, and we never had like crazy mystery, uh, mystery luck on it like we didn't get like five legacy packs ever when we did it and i got a lot of these from my like local walmart so maybe that's why i didn't really buy from walmart.com so walmart.com might be the hack i don't know we're about to find out yeah we're gonna open it up like this let's start off with the deck we can do that we've got a mechanized madness which you know we get this one quite a bit out of here this is a pretty common structure deck to get actually a pretty cool deck i made a deck myself out of it and played with it a lot pretty fun okay next one let's go we have a legend of blue eyes pack oh my goodness it's actually starting so we either pull out the one legacy pack or they're all in here so let's start off with legend of blue eyes let's see what we can do i think this is the pack trick we have ayame with the missouri zombie we got the witty phantom wasteland the r mail two mouth dark ruler fire yaru king of dark abyss just kidding that is not the right way to say that giant soldier stone and the beast fangs all right so we're starting it off with nothing on that one and i also want to remind you guys while we're doing this first let's do another reveal let's see what we can get out of here second pack this feels like a legacy pack it is it's an invasion of chaos he found the hack he found the secret way to get all the packs. This is insane. Okay. All right. This is cool. Let me know in the comments if you've ever done this before and you've ever had luck like getting all of these like super hack packs. You know, this is nuts. Uh, we have a molten zombie. 
we have a DNA transplant. Oh, yeah, I was going to remind you guys, do not respond to any scammers in the chat, in the YouTube comments. I mean, don't send them any money for shipping or anything like that. Giveaways are announced on the YouTube community tab. We're all the way caught up, by the way, which is awesome. Grand Maju de Isa, Heart of the Underdog. Be gone, Knave. And Berserk Gorilla. Okay. And will it be a Chaos Monster? The thing in the crater. So, I mean, it's a thing in the crater. That's not a chaos monster. Okay. All right. Is it possible that there's another one in here? I mean, come on. No way, right? No way. Invasion of chaos. This is nuts, dude. This is so weird because I've opened so many of these. Remember, these are the ones we got Stardust Overdrive and Docs and stuff like that. We, we would always get the same packs. Like, we get the same few packs every time. We would never get, like... You know, we get one legacy back. That was it. Okay, Ujama Black. Very nice. So far, we haven't pulled anything. Tower of Battle. We'll get the Fenrir. Sacred Kran. We've got the Multiplication of Ants. A Hero Emerges. Very nice. Be gone, Knave, with the giant hand right there. Very nice. Okay. We've got the Mad Dog of Darkness. And... Invader of Darkness! Secret Rare. It's the wrong one, though, unfortunately. But still, Secret Rare. Very cool looking card. This got a reprint in Tactical Masters. Nobody really knows why. I mean, it's just randomly in there. All right, fourth pack. I've readjusted. My back was killing me. Let's see. It feels like, oh my gosh, three IOC packs. These mystery boxes are insane. Oh my goodness. I know you guys are going to be checking Walmart after this. But when I checked, I, there was none. So I don't know. Maybe they're restocked. I don't know. I'm going to double check myself because I would like to get a couple of these. Spatial Collapse. We got a Sil feed. Crimson Ninja. Chaos End. Heart of the Underdog, Joey Wheeler. We got the Grand Maju De Aiza, somehow still relevant. Primal Seed, the Getsu Fuma. Come on, here's where we want the other secret rare. Can we get two secret rares out of three packs? Let's go. A Gale Lizard. All right, actually not that bad. You know, you get to return a monster to your opponent's hand. Not that bad for old school. Okay, we got two more packs in here. There's a blister, and then there is a legend of blue eyes pack. Two LOB, three IOC. That's insane value right there. Okay, Uber Trading, once again, shout out to him for hooking me up with these for a video. Really, really cool. He was actually a really, really nice guy when I met him in person, too. Um, so, really, really nice. Uh, Trip Wire Beast. We got the basic insect, the Furious Sea King, Petite Angel, the Green Phantom King. Awesome. Lesser Dragon. Mountain, very nice. Okay, this is like a Magic the Gathering. We got Final Flame, very cool. And here we go. A spiked Seedra, or Spike Seedra. I always call it spiked, but it's not spiked. It's just Spike Seedra. He spikes, that's it. No spike, duh. It's he's doing it now, not, not in the past. Okay, I gotta stop. <laughs> okay, one more. Is this, this is probably a mystery pack, isn't it? It's a mystery pack. So is this gonna be a legacy pack too? All right, we're about to find out. I mean, I, we can't really complain at this point. Uh, oh, and this is not a legacy pack. This is a, oh, Battles of Legend, Lights of Vents. That's not bad either. And then a Radiant Mirror Force, pretty cool. What can we get? Evil Swarm, Exiton, Knight, number 62. Which of the Black Forest, very cool print of that. Wolf, Light Sworn Beast. That might actually be worth a couple bucks. And then Gladiator Beast, Tamer Editor. He's an editor. Do you think he can edit for the Pokerux channel? Don't worry, we already have an editor. We found another one. Speaking of that, go check out the Pokerux channel. If you guys are interested in my Pokemon challenge videos, we've been doing stuff on Twitch. It's been really fun. I haven't been as consistent recently, but we've been doing at least one to two streams a week. It's been pretty fun. All right, next box. This is going to be somewhat of a long video. I'd say like probably in the 20 minute range. So I know a lot of you guys really like it when I go for, you know, 20 minutes or whatever, which I personally... At if, as a YouTube viewer, really like 20-ish minute videos as well. But I know some people, you know, it's just too long. You know, you want it to be 15, 10 minutes, all that stuff. But, uh, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. When Uber Trading sends you three loaded mystery boxes, you just got to open them up. You know what I'm saying? Limited holiday edition. It's almost the holidays, guys. So keep that in mind. It's almost holiday time. Let's see if this one's loaded as well. First pack. We are starting with an IOC pack. So this is a good sign for being loaded. Okay, let's go. Can we pull something good? So far, we've pulled a secret rare. It was the wrong secret rare, not the one we want, but it's still a secret rare. We can't complain. Thunder Crash. Let's see if we can get something really cool. Molten Zombie. We've got the Hyper Hammerhead. Neo Bug. Very cool. Ojama Yellow. Burning Algae. Inferno. Very cool. Fuma Shuriken. And here we go. The thing in the crater! The crater still has a thing in it. Man, guys, don't you hate when there's a thing in the crater? It's just really killer, man. We gotta get that thing out of our crater, you know what I mean? Let's just keep going. Invasion of Chaos. Let's go. Let's see. One, two, three, four. What can we pull here? Will it be epic? Oh, Manju, that's pretty epic. Okay, it had 50 reprints recently, but still nice. Ojama Black. The Tower of Babel. We got the Fenrir. The DD Borderline. We've got the Gale Lizard. Very cool. 
Smashing ground. Curse of darkness. And here we go. We won a foil here. Can it be the Demok? The Black Luster Soldier. Remember how long it took us to pull that? That was insane. Let's pull it again. And uh, of course, CD is what we want mainly. The Boganian. That's almost more insulting than the thing in the crater. You, it's an eyeball with a spear. No, it's a crossbow. I always thought that was a spear. It's a crossbow. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. At least he doesn't have an issue trying to figure out which eye is his dominant eye, I guess. So he's fine there. Legend of Blue Eyes. Next pack. I've never made a bad joke before. I'm just keeping, just reminding you guys. They're always funny. Let's keep going. Remove trap. We've got Dissolve Rock. Dark Energy. The Fiend Reflection Numero Dos. Last Caner Armor. We've got the Turtle Tigre, the Drooling Lizard, Metal Dragoon. All right, here we go. What will it be? It's a King Fog. No. Go on, man. Where are the LOB foils? Go on. This is not perfect ratio like that video the other day when we opened LOB. Go check that one out if you missed it. Still a lot of packs. To oh, we forgot to get our deck first. Oh, a Mechanized Madness. Why does this seem heavier than the other one? I don't know. Two Mechanized Madness. So we've got a few of those. Very nice. We've got two packs here. What is this one? We have a Legend of Blue Eyes pack. Back at it again. This is the one. This is the one we've been waiting for. The other ones, they were only playing. This is the serious pack. This is the one with the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Here we go. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Dark Magician. Something like that. We've got a Wasteland. We've got the Steel Ogre Grito number one. Fire Grasse. We've got the Ray and Tibetuda. Man Eater, Fire Yaru, Frenzied Panda, The Fusionist, a classic. And here we go. Will it be our first foil out of LOB? No, it's going to be a root water. A water with a root. Very nice. All right, the water with a root. And now we have Invasion of Chaos. So, so far we've pulled one foil and it was a secret rare Invader of Darkness. So I would love to change that. I would love to pull something that's not you know, garbage. So here we go. Spatial Collapse. Ojama Helta Dirk. I'm just kidding. I was not trying to insult Invader of Darkness. I also didn't mean to call you a Duracane. Let's just keep going. Mind you of the 10,000 hands. Almost a play set. Nice. Griffin's Feather Duster. The Dimension Distortion. Very cool. Spirit of the Pog. Very nice. Will it get unbanned? If it's banned, is the spirit banned? That's the question. Because like, is he still in there? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Giga, Gaga, Gigo. Very nice. We have a chain disappearance and here we go. Anti-aircraft flower. So if you got a problem with aircraft, there you go. But that is not a foil. That leaves us with our final pack of the mystery box. So, so far, that mystery box had no pulls. Not looking amazing there, but that's okay. We have a mystery pack. Will it be something epic? Let's go. Oh, uh, we got invoked Magellanica. And that looks like a Pharaoh Servant pack. It is our first Pharaoh Servant pack. Invoked Magellanica for those invoked decks. Very cool. Uh, you know I'm definitely playing Alistair at the YCS. 100% happening. All right, let's keep going because i have not played Yu-Gi-Oh in months i would say at this point besides like some casual goat duels and, and like edison and stuff like that all right bubonic vermin let's go the regulation of the tribe so if you see me at niagara and you ask what i'm playing you already know let's go science soldier dna surgery very cool drill insect we've got the gambell dark bat the hayabusa knight all right is this it our first foil of the day will it be the genzo come on genzo time let's go Ooh, a mirror wall. I do love this card. Mirror Wale. Very cool. Wally. Very nice. We like that super rare. That is a beautiful one. All right, we got a foil. Not too bad. And the final box of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this somewhat of a longer video. Shout out to Uber Trading for hooking us up with these at uh, cost, basically, is what he paid, which is, you know, not that much compared to, like, getting a bunch of legacy packs. So definitely pretty good deal for us. Plus, he sent that insane giveaway, the Forbidden Chalice. It definitely has an epic story. He had it as a PSA graded card, cracked it out, brought it to me in person. I opened it up or I signed it. I didn't open it. Uh, and then he then graded it again and then sent it back to us to give away to you guys. So it has definitely a history behind it, which is pretty cool. It's always fun when there's a specific card that has a history and it's a lot easier to track when they have a signature on them. So our first pack, we have a legend of blue eyes. Very nice. It's always funny to see, like sometimes I'll see my signature other places. Like one time I signed a, a card for this dude and then apparently ended up on Facebook marketplace like a week later. So I was like, oh, okay. Interesting. This is how this goes. Really weird when that the kind of stuff happens but i guess it does armel very cool we got the dark gray power of kaishin one-eyed shield dragon the 13th grave very nice we got the missouri zame is it yame no we gotta have the original packs from missouri zame yame we got the root water fissure very nice here we go final card 
got an Umi. So Ferris Servants had one pack. It got a foil. ILCs had like 10 packs. They got a foil. LOBs had like 10 packs. They got nothing. So let's see if it can break that streak. Back to IOC. Let's go. IOC. I remember when people used to say that packs out of these were weighed. I was like, guys, there is no way they're spending time weighing Reaper at packs. But uh, yeah, they definitely don't. A uh, chop man. But people actually thought that for a while. The conspiracy. Chaos Necromancer. We got the DNA transplant. The Griffin's Feather Duster. Primal Seed. Gale Lazard. Ojama Yellow. Very cool. We got the Mad Dog of Darkness. And finally, will it be the CED? The Balloon Lizard. All right. Okay. <laughs> balloon Lizard. Okay. Very cool. Awesome. Definitely looking for a Balloon Lizard. That's my, my go-to. What's our deck? A Mechanized Madness. We have a complete Machina deck now. Three <laughs> sets of every card or three car or copies, not sets. Okay. Next pack. We have a Legend of Blue Eyes. Come on, LOB. This is your chance. Just pull something. That's all you got to do, man. <sighs> Let's go. We got the Sogan. Very nice. Steel Ogre Grotto number one. Legendary Sword. M Warrior Numero Uno, Green Phantom King, Lesser Dragoon, Mountain. We have the Dragon to Capture Jar, and we have a Spike Seedra. He's not spiked. He's Spike. He is spiking us like a volleyball right now. That is painful. All right, next up we have IOC. Come on. We have not had great luck with our pulls today, but there's still a chance. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Pack trick. I know some of you guys hate it, but the drama it increases the drama let's go chaos necromancer coach drama coach drama coach goblin okay maybe he's in a drama what do you guys think he looks more like uh this looks like he is literally the guy from rocky except for a, a goblin let me know does he look just like like mickey or whatever his name is energy drain we've got the dawn turtle grand maju de Isa, serpent sea serpent warrior of darkness ryu koki this is actually a great card if you're playing some uh, zombie old school decks Stray Lambs and Gigantus, another really good card. But unfortunately, that is not a foil. Okay, we're down to a couple packs. I think we have the random pack and then one more. We have one more IOC pack. So LOB, I think, struck out unless it's in the mystery pack. Okay, IOC, just one more pull. One more pull is all we ask. Let's do this. We have an Earth Shant, Don Tortell, Tower of Babel, Fiend's Hand and Mirror. A hero emerges. Be gone, knave. You're a knave, by the way. It's talking to you. Heart of the underdog. Here we go. Compulsory evacuation device. A very good card. And this is the moment of truth. Let's go. Grand Maju Day Eyes. Oh, man. No. This is officially it. It includes one booster and one rare card. What will it be? Please be a good pack. Please be a good pack. Let's go. Come on. Please be something good. We have the reveal. Let's not spoil it too much. Let's do it like this. Oh, that was pretty smooth. Okay. Whoa. First it is a cross souls. That's pretty cool. And then look at this. Yeah. So uh, it's literally stuck. Uh, okay. Actually, it came off pretty well. It's that like kind of sticky stuff, but it like kind of comes off. Try Fortress Top or Try Fortress Ops. Okay. All right. This is actually a pretty sick pack. I mean, you can get a Ghost Rare out of here, Ultimate Rare, stuff like that. So it's not that old. I think 2015, 16, something like that. So let's just see what we can pull to end this thing. Let's not get that stuff on the mat. All right. One, two, three is what we're going to do. These feel like Euro cards. They feel very slick. Performal Pal, Thunder Rhino. This doesn't really fit any of the other cards. We're moving Legacy. Magma Dragon. We've got the Despot 004. Super Every Samurai, Soul Buster Gauntlet. Very nice. The Fiend Griefing. HM Chain. Very nice. We've got the Moon Mirror Shield. Is it up next? Let's see. Oh, a secret rare El Shadal. Enoyatilis? I have never seen this Shadal card before. Or El Shadal, I guess. But that is really cool. I'm guessing it's not that great. But it's a secret rare, which is, you know, that's a great rarity. And we're taking that. And it's not I don't even think maybe it's guaranteed supers. That's it in this set. Very, very cool. That's a way to end it. All right. So not the best pulls ever, but that insane hack. I mean, we just pulled three boxes that had all legacy packs, which was really, really cool. So thanks again to Uber Trading for sending those in. The secret mystery boxes paid off. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content, including that 150K special where we open every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Game. Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trust of Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tone Fo Show, Ananda Sai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.